One of the most frequent questions that we get asked in regards to the camps is how they're constructed, um, what the insulation values are, and what, what sets them apart from any other camper that's out there today. So at this time, we're going to take you and kind of run through the construction process, um, the thickness of the insulation, the walls, how they're constructed, everything that way. So let's get started. So this is where it all begins. Once we have the frame completed, um, welded and painted, we begin assembling the floor. Um, but as you can see, I mean, this, this frame is really heavy duty, well built. Um, all our marker lights and everything are all cut in, um, plasma cuttered. But as you can see, this floor is a two by six framing. Um, there's a framework that runs around the exterior of the floor. And then there's um, cross members every two feet that run across the floor with all the duct work, plumbing, everything in there. And then it's all insulated. With an R11. Um, and then topped with a three quarter inch CDX. And then we put our flooring down. So really well insulated, um, not a lot of heat transfer from the floor. Also in this one, um, this one will be getting heated tanks. And so our holding tanks are plumbed up in there. And then we have duct work in the floor that will be plumbed down to the tanks. Um, so that when you're running your furnace, there will be heat present there. There will also be electric heating pads that are placed on the tank to allow you to camp, you know, in the colder months um, and not worry about freezing. Once the floor is complete, we're ready to begin standing walls. This camp's a little bit different. This would be considered a commissary camp. And it is what the agriculture guys use to transport all their feed, water, um, saddlery, all their equipment basically out to their herds and to their livestock. So this one, as you can see, I mean, a little bit different. It's got the, the feed bins on the side, side door, a um, little bit different in that setup. But we build all of our camps to the same quality and use pretty much the same materials. This one's just not going to be finished quite as nice. So we start out by framing up our walls with a three quarter inch CDX and we frame them up on two foot centers, the full length of the camp, both our front and our end walls. Um, our end walls are all cut on a CNC machine. And so once we frame them up, then we sheet them with a 7 16 OSB in this case. And in our finished camps, it gets a laminate with a maple core on the walls. Once that's complete, we go through and we insulate all of our dead space in the walls with a three quarter inch foam board. Looks like this. It's an R4. And then we sheet the exterior of it with another 7 16 OSB, which would be followed by a Tyvek and then our metal. Um, the roof is a little bit different. We have a ridge beam that runs the length of the camp. And then we have a Bose arch system. We call it our Duraspan, um, which has some bracing that's tied in all along it. And then that will be insulated as well with R11 insulation. So once again, six inches thick in the floor, six inches in the ceiling throughout. Um, your walls, like I say, have a three quarter inch foam board insulation. And so if you're comparing them to anything in the industry, there's nothing that compares as far as insulation values, um, which really retains the heat really well, especially when you get the wood stove going um, or the furnace. Once all the framing and insulation is done, then we go on to finish work. This is what a near complete model of a camp would look like.
But hopefully that gives you an idea of what we do as far as insulation and how that sets us apart from anything else in the industry. If you have any questions, please subscribe, comment in the comments below. Let us know what you think, what you would like to see in future videos. Thanks.